Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. Hello, Boring Review Nation. Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to bring you another music reaction, fresh off the presses. Nick. <laughs> And I'm looking at another song right now that I like. So we are checking out another Tool song, Made Gave a Believer, and I'm super excited about That's that. Cool. If you like music reactions, you've come to the right place. We're gonna keep reacting to a whole lot more of them. I know these mu this, these songs and this music. He does not, so he's listening to the first time. And I love recording these because I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I have listened to it. <laughs> but it's exciting to introduce you to it. Right. We're checking out Sober. This is one of the the more mainstream songs for Tool, but not mainstream in a way where it's just not a very good song, right? Where it's just all fluff, whatever. Yeah. It's a really good song. It's just very, very, very popular, very well known. You may have heard a part of it, who knows, but I doubt it. We're gonna check this out. If you like what you see here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out our other Tool reactions. We have three or four of them on the channel depending on the time of the month. Here we go. feel so far the few songs listened to that they all have a similar sound like even though the songs are different right. that you can kind of identify as a tool song i think i can and what i like about tool is that they really just get right into it right we did the Especially one this song, we, yeah. we did the one video where it was like build 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 it took so long stairway to heaven stairway to heaven right they people the greatest rock song of all time I, listen i like the song a lot yeah. and but it took so long to get there. There was just like so much build to it. And I know some people like that. They said that's the way songs are supposed to. I'm that, you know me, high energy, high pump guy right away. And especially since I like to listen to a lot of these um, rock songs when I'm in the gym. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get into it. I love this like opening, and it's not a beat, but this opening part of the music where you have a few instruments and they're adding more and more of the instruments in there. But just the doo doo. Dude, dude, it like builds up the tension, the anticipation, like you're about to, like you're about to go get it, or you're going to be in a situation, or you're a bo for a boxer, that bell's about to ring, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. They do definitely have their own video style, too. Their oh. video's always crazy. Absolutely.
I love how, again, you're talking about the buildup earlier, Stairway yeah. to Heaven. This is a different type of buildup, right? In different instruments adding to it, adding to the need, the song right there, and then the lyrics adding, adding to it, the emotion, the anticipation, and then right there, that, whoa, I mean, that takes some serious range, but it's not like he's just screaming or yelling, like someone yeah. who can't, like myself, would be doing. Right. It's, uh, it's awesome. The reason I love Tool is they're almost like a heavy metal band. I thought I had more time there. Where they are not afraid to let a song breathe. Right, 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 right? Let the instruments take front stage a lot of the times right. and not just always be singing, always have lyrics, vocals. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. I'm just a worthless liar. I am just an imbecile. I will only complicate you. Trust in me and if all is well I will find a center in you I will chew it up and leave Trust me, trust me, trust me I never understand what's going on in a Tool video. Never. I'm not that artistic, but I can't look away. I love watching. Yeah, it's like a car accident, right? Because a lot of these songs I've heard growing up, but I've right. never really watched the videos before, so it's a lot of fun for me. I got to say, I was nervous at first when you were like, well, this is one of their more mainstream things. Because the first thing, don't ask me why, when it came to me, to mine was like Limp Biscuit. Like, remember? Yeah. Limp Biscuit used to be like, you know, respected, like, yo, you know, heavy metal it has, rock. It had its time. Yeah. And then he did the whole Christina Aguilera thing. And then the, 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 after that, it was even though he tried to, oh, I did it all. Who didn't remember that video? Like, listen, he, you went pop. You went pop, and you just lost that kind of... So whenever people say mainstream, I always think of you went pop. And when you will go pop, like whether it's rap or rock, when you go pop, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, you kind of lose credibility there. So I was like, Tool? Really? Mainstream? No, no. I was going to say, they went mainstream. I just meant this song got a lot of radio time. It got, it got radio time. I see what you say. It got the airplay. Yeah, but airplay. it was still Tool. They had their own style from the video, obviously, to the sound. You know, one of the things that that he he's got a very unique voice because he's got a, a lot of range when he sings. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't have to yell. He doesn't have to like you know get hit those high notes. But he's got that very serious uh, uh, voice, very demonstrative when he sings. Um, dude, the guitar riff. I was waiting for that guitar riff. You know me. I love the guitar riff, and it was good. It wasn't my favorite. You know what I mean? Um, what was the other pot? I think it is the other pot, two. Yeah. That guitar was bananas. Yeah, that's a great song. That that one is bananas. But it's still tool. I like it. Not an instant added it, but not like I hated it. Oh my! Not like I hated it, but not you know. I gotta be honest. Not an added it like oh, gonna be on my track all the time. You know what I'm saying? 
on that rotation, you know, that, that was that's reserved for the pots of the world. And dude, from oh man, uh uh oh from um Duhas is on the added it list. Uh, one is on the added list. I mean, okay. added is like I listen to it all the time. This is good, but it's not like oh, I gotta hear it again. But it wasn't, yeah. you know, and maybe that's what you meant by more like mainstream, not more. But it wasn't like my favorite. But at the same time, it was like I didn't like lose respect for them. Like, what are you doing? I would hope not. <laughs> this is a great song. It's not one of my personal favorites of theirs, but it's still really, really good. I mean, they're gonna have a lot of songs that. I mean, any band's gonna have a lot of songs you don't absolutely love. They have a song called like Jambi or something like that. It's not my favorite song of theirs, but not everyone's gonna have a hit. This one is still, I feel, a really, really good song. I'm surprised it wasn't an ad, but that's okay. I respect the opinion. I do love his voice. And I just read an article or an interview that he gave. I read an article about where he said that he can't sing some of the older Tool songs. I'm not sure which ones he didn't mention because the range of his voice isn't there anymore. Wow, that and, and you he know what? Purposely write he is in three hundred bands. Purposely write songs that his range can hit. That's awesome because I know exactly what he's talking about. And you see these, especially out here in Vegas, right? You've got all these acts that come back and have been singing for years, and they try to perform and sing a song that they they sung ten years ago. You ain't got that range anymore, cousin. Yeah. Just saying, and it sounds bad. I'm sorry. Not gonna say any names, but I've been to them, some concerts, and I'm like, You're like ooh. Ew. Ooh. You know, where the back I would still is. take that over lip syncing at a live show. Yes, yes, that is, yes. Is, yes. I understand sure, why sure. you lip sync on the Super Bowl or, or halftime or whatever. Right. But I'm not going to pay a ticket to, to watch you live right. when you're just playing the same CD I have in my house. You said the same CD I have in my house. No, I get it. I get it. But, you know, yeah, over time, you're going to lose that range. You don't have that. You don't got the pipes anymore, as they say. So I, yeah. I, I get that. And that's cool that he admits that. Um, right. Again, it's one of those things where this is more of a, a of a more uh, not so not monotone, but how do I say more of just a more you know it got it had its moments when it was just like hard hard, but it was like you know more. Yeah, I still love it heel. because it's so like in its lane, but it also branches out a little bit. But it's it's a complete thing. It's such a great song, and I always felt it was about him trying to get sober. And that's I'm just looking it up right now. A lot yeah. of these places or a lot of these sites are saying the same thing. So. I luckily I don't have that issue of being addicted to a drug or alcohol or something, but I can only imagine that when you're ready to get out of it, I have other kinds of addictions, right? Trying to get out of it, you want all the kinds of help, even crying for God or Jesus for crying out loud to help come save you. So yeah, for sure. I like the message as well. Let us know what your thoughts are for our reaction and this song. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we know all things. <laughs>